wrestled with sharing this today. I didn't really want to share it because I thought it was maybe more for me, but when have I ever kept anything to myself? Except for your secrets. I'm doing really good at that. But, um, and so in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 25, it says, At the time Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for this way was also well-pleasing in your sight. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and, do, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um... I think we sometimes forget that. And when we're forgetting that, it's usually because we're trying to do things in our own power and in our own might. And we're doing it in our own way and trying to control the whole situation. We oftentimes also um, are doing it for the wrong reasons and doing it for the wrong people's approval. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, we talked about who are you going to stand before? It's between you and God. That's if your master is who you're going to stand or fall before. And you do everything to the glory of God, and you do everything for him, and he's the one that you answer to. And sometimes when we start feeling like, God, you have really asked me to do too much, and I'm a little tired, and I'm a little weary, or why am I still in this phase, or why am I still struggling with this? It oftentimes is, is because we're trying to do it in our own power and our own might, and we're trying to do it for the wrong people's approval. Anything that we do is just because Jesus loves us and we want to love other people. We don't even have to do it for his approval. Man, he, we already have his approval. And so if we're ever doing it out of, I, I'm doing this so that God will bless me or love me more or I'll win a few more points, whatever we you know, concoct up in our heads, the, the, the yoke is going to be heavy. It is going to feel like pressure. It is going to feel overwhelming. But when we remember that we have already ha we have our place secure in him, what we do, how we live our lives is not to please him or to please other people. It's simply because his goodness is too good not to share. And to not love on other people, to not bless other people, um, I, I, I'm covering that light that he's given me. I'm going to reread this, but I'm going to read it in the message version. And it says... Oh, man. That's the National Guard. Everybody get ready. Okay. Again, it says, Jesus resumed talking to the people, but now tenderly. The Father has given me all these things to do and say. This is a unique father-son operation coming out of father and son intimacies and knowledge. No one knows the son the way the father does, nor the father the way the son does. But I'm not keeping it to myself. I'm ready to go over it line by line with anyone who's willing to listen. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. And that's what he promises us, and that's what we can do. And this walk with him is not to be another commitment, another heavy burden, another thing you have to check off the list, none of that. It is, man, it's when we can fall into the rhythms of his grace and his mercy, it becomes just fluid and easy and just every day walking and out with him. And it can be really sweet and special if we get out of our own way and get out of our own perfect, per, trying to be perfect in everything that we do. So if you just stand, we're going to take tithes and offerings. Yes, Jimmy Bratcher's here. We're super excited about that. You guys are in for a real treat. Uh, we're going to, um, if you would like to give to him, we're going to do that right now. But before you leave, also on the back, and we'll hand him out our connection card that they can just do a QR code, car, QR code. You can stay up to date with what's going on in his ministry. You can give there too. And I uh, would really highly, highly recommend that you grab one of those on your way out. A QR code, you take your phone, you scan it with the camera. It opens a website. It's pretty easy, okay? All right. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for the opportunity to come once again as a community and to just worship you. There's just something about worshiping together that can just align our hearts and just kind of 
help shed away the heaviness of the week. And Lord, we just pray today as we come to hear from you and receive from you, may our hearts be ready to hear it. And may our eyes be ready to see what you have for us to see. And we are ready to act on it this week. In your name I pray. Amen.